All right, you guys. Well, uh, let's let's just get going. You know, if people want to recap, we'll give them a recap when it comes time. So welcome, everyone, to the second Antinatalist Film Festival info session. I really appreciate all of you coming. Uh, the last time, I think, was a great success, um, and I've been really looking forward to doing this all over again today. So we're going to be doing much the same as we did last time. I'm going to be taking everybody through the uh, Film Freeway page, um, going through what the rules are, information about the film festival, showing you guys how you can submit your film to the festival. Um, but before we begin, I just wanted to take a moment to, uh, you know, basically ask, are there any questions that anybody has, uh, especially, you know, for those of you that, well, whether you were here for the first info session or not, if anybody has any questions, um, I'd love to hear them. Uh, I'll do another question answer at the very end of this as well. Um, and also, you know, if anybody has come with a an idea in mind for a film that um, they've already made or have not yet made, a video that they've made or have not yet made that they are thinking about, you know, submitting to the festival. Um, you know, you maybe want to talk about your idea. Uh, I'd love to hear about that today. So start with questions or if anybody wants to talk about a project they have in mind, uh, let's, let's, let's do that now. Anybody? I don't bite yet. No? Okay. Well, that's okay, too. That's totally cool. All right. So welcome to the Film Freeway page for the Antinatalist Film Festival. Now, Film Freeway is basically a uh, an industry standard for how to submit your, uh, to submit films to festivals everywhere. So if you were to uh, search Film Freeway, um, you know, say you have a movie and you want to submit it to festivals, festivals from around the world, literally thousands of festivals are listed on Film Freeway and you can easily build a profile on Film Freeway for your film all of your film projects and directly submit them to uh, thousands of festivals of your choice. Um, I will quickly show you, this is my old profile for The Ethelist, uh, my movie that I, this, that I made a couple of years ago. So um, this is basically like when you, when you make a profile, uh, you will have the option of like uploading the film that of, you know, of your choice directly to uh, Film Freeway. Uh, so that whoever you submit your film to can watch it directly within um, the website. Uh, you can put in all kinds of you know relevant information to your film, a little bio about yourself. This stuff isn't required, but I'm just kind of showing you guys like what to expect when you end up making a film freeway page. Um, and so that there's that. So like you know you, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. You can put in you know stills from your film. Uh, everything appears to be going far too slowly right now, so let's not deal with that just yet. But that's what a profile page looks like. This is the um, the actual you know event page uh, on Film Freeway for the Antinatalist Film Festival. Now, one thing to keep in mind that's very very important. Normally, uh, when you have a film festival, obviously it's like in a theater somewhere. You know, it's it's in a in an actual locale you know, with uh, actual screening dates and all that. Um, we are not that kind of festival yet. This first year of the festival will be entirely online. It will be what's called just an online screening event. Uh, it will be hosted entirely on the Antinatalism International uh, website. Um, we're very much hoping... Carrie, could you close your mic, please? Carrie, if you don't close your mic, I will be forced to kick you. I don't want to. Maybe Carrie is next. <laughs> All right, Carrie. It's been, it's been a pleasure, but you must go. Goodbye, Carrie. Uh, all right, so um, we are an online screening event. Now, that is a wonderful thing. The only negative to being an online screening event is that because we are not an official, you know, in-person film festival yet, we are not publicly listed on Film Freeway. So it's hosted on Film Freeway, but if you were to just say search Film Freeway for the Antinatalist Film Festival, you wouldn't be able to find it because it's not listed in public view. So sharing the link to the Antinatalist Film Festival on Film Freeway, this link right here, 
is of the utmost importance for helping the Antinatalist Film Festival grow and reaching more filmmakers, more video makers who uh, might wish to submit their films. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, and uh, to all of the founders and friends who are here today. Um, so let's just go through the rules uh, for the Antinatalist Film Festival. So uh, the Antinatalist Film Festival is a historic first of its kind event founded by Antinatalism International, Annie, that's most of you guys, an organization dedicated to the advancement of the philosophy of antinatalism. Antinatalism International, Annie, is the world's first explicitly anti-procreative international organization founded in the summer of 2020 by a committed group of six antinatalist thinkers. ANI was established to help facilitate the entrance of antinatalist philosophy into the mainstream consciousness of society. Art, particular video making, has been an important tool for antinatalist activism, as we felt it was, and we felt it was high time to showcase some of the talent of our community, as well as get others involved who might be from a different mindset, but perhaps find the subject matter artistically inspiring and want to respond creatively. Wikipedia defines antinatalism or anti-hyphenatalism as a philosophical position and social movement that assigns a negative value to birth. It's an idea that's been with humanity since very early recorded history, but only recently since the 2000, 2006 publication of philosopher David Benatar's book, Better Never to Have Been the Harm of Coming into Existence, that anti-procreative people have started to collect and... Tr and my screen went blank. Cool! Gary in the house. <laughs> <laughs> in <Mendoza. laughs> Oh, is Gary here? Hey, Gary, yeah. how are you? Thank you so much for... Oh, and Seb is here. Hey, Seb. Uh, thank you so much for coming, you guys. Why did my screen just go blank? This is cool. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Seb. Yep. Can you close your mic, though? Wait, is that who was that? I'm also here. Hi, Gary. How are you? Thank you for coming. Um, I don't know what's going on. Can you guys, are you guys seeing this? Like, what are you yeah, seeing right now? See it says I'm viewing your screen, okay? So it says you are viewing Amanda's screen. And there's a little blinking light. Uh, let's see what my options say. Uh, Antinatalism International is the natural evolution of this trend, blah, 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 blah. Due to circumstances regarding the COVID-19 pandemic, 2021's Antinatalist Film Festival will be entirely hosted online on the Antinatalism International website. We hope, however, to be able to host future years of the festival as an in-person event. We are so excited to see your Antinatalist-inspired films. Uh, and... Uh, the logo is by Life Sucks, so please go send Life Sucks some love. Okay, awards and prizes. There will be some, okay? I am working on an award for like the top winner. It's gonna be a, uh, well, I'm gonna, yeah. Some of you actually saw me make a video about it a while back ago. It's gonna be this um, hand sculpted sort of DNA uh, strand with uh, like animal and human faces coming out of it. So anyway, it's not done yet. I don't have pictures of it, but one lucky winner will, will win a hand sculpted uh, award. And um, at Gary here in Mendham uh, did come up with some really actually fantastic ideas last time for additions uh, to the film festival. Um, and so there will be a, I did not unfortunately have a chance to properly write this into the film freeway uh, site, um, which I absolutely should have, but there will be a, um, a special prize um, for a, a specific category um, that, um, okay, so there will be another category that will have a, a, a cash prize attached to it. And that will be sort of, uh, maybe Gary would like to speak a little bit about it. Uh, you're more than welcome to if you wish, Gary, but it's gonna be sort of a, um, you know, sort of shorter form films, more sort of almost like a commercial style, you know, meant to sort of be, with the intent of really convincing people of the antinatalist uh, agenda or, or movement. Gary, do you want to talk about that at all? No, I don't really need to. Uh, no, I the, want video, to be, the video yeah, from last time is up on the, on the A and I YouTube channel, so people can learn more about it there. But I do intend on putting more about it on this page. So go ahead. Sorry, didn't interrupt. No, it's all right. It's just yeah, yeah. It's just the, the the point will be is just to get people interested in the subject by creating something that's going to be thought provoking. That's short, you know, two minutes, whatever, sixty seconds, fifteen seconds. You can think of it as an infomercial. You can think of it as just a commercial. You can think of it as just a little bit of promotional material that isn't 
stale and boring, you know, like saying we're ethical people and we care and we, we love you and, you know, instead of just being some sort of tripe, you know, it'll be some sort of creative, interesting thing like a Super Bowl commercial, you know, something a little, a little better than the average crap. Yeah, and that will have a cash prize attached to it. We're going to call it, I think, in Mendham's Challenge. So anyway, I, a more uh, a description, a description, a, a, a written description is what I meant to say, will be on the Film Freeway page ASAP. So let me go through the rules a little bit. The first edition of the Antinatalist Film Festival will take place online, blah, blah, blah. You guys know that. Between October 1st and October 31st, 2021 on the Antinatalism International website. Uh, film submission rules. All films must comply with the following conditions to be submitted. All film video submissions must deal with the subject of anti-procreation in some way. So I'm very forgiving. It can be very all over the map. Just have it deal with the subject some way, somehow. You, I mean, I would love for it to explicitly deal with the subject, but again, uh, I, I do understand how art works. Um, you may submit features, documentaries, animated pieces, uh, music videos, artistic videos of all kinds, as well as film debate videos, which, um, you know, really, like, you know, if you, uh, this is something I really want to encourage. Um, if you guys, anybody out there listening, wants to put together a debate and they film it, it can be of any length, really. Um, there's no guarantee that I will accept it, but I would like to see that kind of content be submitted because um, it is sort of part of, you know, antinatalist video culture and something that I would like to be able to feature a little bit. Um, really, the sky is the limit. Um, again, there's no guarantee that your film of any kind will be submitted, but um, don't hesitate to submit, I guess, is the bottom line that I want to communicate. If you have something Please submit it. The worst, the worst, the worst that can happen is we say no. Um, if you have any questions about something you would like to submit, please contact us anytime. Uh, I should add this here. I think it is lower, but uh, best place to contact me is info at antinatalisminternational.com. You can also contact me at antinatalnews at gmail.com. Those are two good places to reach me. Um, <laughs> Submissions in all languages are welcome. Yes, so don't hold back, please, if you have a submission in a language other than English. Um, a and I has done a very good job so far of collecting a number of individuals uh, from all over the world that speak all kinds of different languages. There's a very good chance that maybe we can find somebody to help with subtitles um, and make you know your submission more accessible. You know, keep in mind to like this is the first year of the festival. So, it, you know, if, if subtitling and all that can't be achieved by this first time around, you know, maybe um, it can still play, but you know, that can, it can be resubmitted for the second uh, edition, um, you know, in more completed subtitle form. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, films can be of any age or date of completion. That's another important thing. A lot of festivals limit the kind of content that they accept to like, you know, made within the last year, made within the last six months. Uh, that's not an issue here. If you have a, a, something that you've made five years ago that you think is fantastic and needs more eyeballs on it, you're free to submit it. Um, submissions are free. Uh, so don't let that hold you back at all. Uh, submissions are, are always free. Um, only entrants whose films uh, were selected will be notified. We are not able to inform individual applicants about the rejection, nor its reasons. So keep that in mind. Uh, there have been two submissions so far. They have both been accepted, I'm happy to say. So, uh, but uh, looking forward to uh, penis, penis. Great. Is that you, Jesus? <laughs> hey, Seuss. Yeah, I don't think we got it. It's straight. But, uh, well, I, I, I'm just... Uh -huh. I'm assuming it's, it's, oh, he likes I just okay. removed them and cleared the drawing. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I've never seen them do that be before. I don't know. Whatever. Um, where was I? Okay, official selections. Uh, official selections will be made by a jury of antinatalists. More information regarding the jury panel coming soon as it says there. Uh, official selections will be announced on September 30th, uh, 2021. So there's tons of time still to make and submit something. Uh, I will continue to have these info sessions every month. Um, you know, so there's 
lots of opportunities to come, you know, uh, pl you know, not plug your ideas, but if you want some feedback on your ideas, there's lots of opportunities. There will be several winners and prizes. Yes, more on this soon. All official selections will be screened on the Antinatalism International website. You guys already know that. Uh, submissions. Submissions must be submitted electronically via Film Freeway only. It's not entirely true. Um, if you are unable to use Film Freeway for whatever reason or whatever, contact me. Again, it's a, it's a forgiving process. I would like to see them submitted on Film Freeway. Uh, the biggest reason is because I want antinatalist film and video makers to take their, uh, their video and film creations seriously. And I would like this to be, perhaps be the first film festival you submit to, but I don't want it to be the last. Um, I encourage everybody to submit what they make to as many film festivals as possible, because you just never know. Um, the final submission deadline is July 31st, 2021, so still lots of time. Um, the person submitting the film gives their permission to screen the film during the festival and during the events. Uh, events promotion, the festival arranged by the organizer with no screening fees, yes. So that is, as it says, um, you know, we do hope that, it, well, Antinatalism International hopes that one of the things uh, that can happen in the next, you know, year, a couple of years is we do also have sort of the building of sort of local chapters. Um, and one of the things we hope to be able to provide local chapters is sort of a bundle of already, you know, established, already shown films within these festivals so they can sort of have their own mini festivals. Um, there's even sort of, uh, there's a, a new antinatalist organization called the AAJP in uh, Japan right now. Um, so if they ever wanted to have a film festival, you know, we'd like to be able to sort of uh, share the, an, the antinatalist artistic wealth um, and just basically promote, you know, all of these different groups to have their own little little festivals. So um, keep in mind, and I completely screwed up the numbering of this, didn't I? Three, five, what happened to four? Oh, well. Um, the festival reserves the right to invite a film which is not submitted to the festival. And yes, that may happen. There is a couple of um, things that I am personally selecting that uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping people will say yes to and they will appear in the festival. Um, film copies. The film co copies, everything has to be sent electronically. That just means like, if you have a, a, an amazing antinatalist movie on 16 millimeter, I, I can't do anything with that. Like, ha you know, have it electronically transferred. I'd love to show it in the festival, um, but we can only accept, you know, things that are electronically based and not solid state. Um, contact us if you're seeking subtitles, we might be able to help, just as it says. Definitely let us know if we can help in that regard. It's more, it's, it's very possible. Can't promise, but it's very possible. Um, submitting a film to the Antinatalist Film Festival is equivalent to the acceptance of the conditions set out to the rules above. So yeah, so those are the basic rules. Um, you know, if you are interested in submitting, it's just as easy as clicking submit now, um, selecting your film from the list of, of, op of, of profiles for films that you've set up. Although, yeah, there we go. And then adding it to the cart and checking out and there you go. Um, you know, lots of film festivals are extremely expensive, but as we've said before, this is a completely free festival. So uh, there's no harm in just taking a chance, no money lost. Um, the next or the first deadline actually is next month, March 31st. That's the early bird deadline. Uh, there will be one other um, film festival info session before that on uh, March 21st. So exactly one month from now. So there'll be another, you know, hopefully um, I'll have that new section, you know, properly written up by then. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting there'll be several things that will be sort of revealed as new additions to the festival by the time the next uh, info session is up and running and out and live and, uh, and the first deadline, you know, is approaching. So I guess that's it for my spiel. Um, like I've said at the beginning, I just kind of wanted to you know, just sort of casually open this up to whatever questions anybody might have. Um, and if there are people here who have film ideas, video ideas that they're thinking about submitting, um, now would be a great time to just like, let's discuss what your projects are. And uh, if you need any help, if there's anything I can do, I'm here. Otherwise, we'll, we'll cut it short for the day, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. So anyway, thank you guys. Well, I can chime in. Um, <laughs> Go for it, Gary. 
Uh, well, I'd argue that part of this might be a good idea to have some infrastructure for people who have story ideas but no capacity to convert the story into any kind of visual material. So it would be nice if people have a little, um, you know, kind of like the Benatar narrative, you know, of animating a rock, okay? Some little, you know, so there's lots of people who are creative in terms of poetry, um, you know, different kinds of art form, uh, but they have no talent in terms of creating some visual art that could go with that. And so it might be worth just having some kind of resource where maybe through these kind of meetings or maybe, I don't know, I just thought of the idea, so who knows, but there'd be some way for people to share their knowledge even, like if somebody wants to know how to use, um, you know, some some software, you know, for video editing, you know, and they really don't know how to use it to, to do simple edits and somebody could just show them how to do the simple thing, make a video for them or do something else. Uh, you know, just resources where, you know, maybe I just need somebody to color something, you know, some crayon yeah. drawing to go with what I'm doing. And I could just say, well, look, I'm looking for a, a crayon drawing. Can you do a crayon drawing that I can put in my background? You know, so it's a transparent yeah. image you know, of a crayon drawing. So I have a crayon drawing behind me, blah, blah, blah. And be, you know, it, it might be, it might be useful. I don't know if we have enough people for it to ever be useful yet, but I'm no. just saying it might be something to think about in terms of the long road ahead that such a resource could be very valuable and it could, you know, not only to us, each other, like we'll help each other, but it could draw more people in because they can come in with fewer pieces. You know, they can have like yeah. two pieces of the video and somebody else has the three pieces and you put it together and you make something. Yes, absolutely. And this is why I, um, I, I it's unfortunate that Antinatalist Outreach AO um, isn't here today because Antinatalist Outreach, for those of you that don't know, has a project called the Fellowship of Antinatalist Artists. And so every month, he does like a prompt and gets people to make, you know, new pieces of antinatalist art based on, uh, you know, different prompts, different words, different concepts. Um, and it would be a very good idea for him and I to kind of mash our efforts together for this a little bit because there's a, there's a really nice, small, but a nice collection of people already who are sort of like ready to collaborate, you know, on the go um, and maybe willing to, you know, put in, some of those extra pieces like you're talking about. Um, I will say, you know, if, if there is anybody out there that does have, you know, a piece missing, um, like a background or like a, um, a story element, you know, kind of like what you're saying, I, I'm always around, like I'm happy to help with that if possible. Um, although my style might not fit, um, you know, whatever your concept is. But yes, um, you know, I think, I think the antinatalist art world is still a little more amorphous than it, than it should be for its own good. But it's like AO has done a really good job, I think, of building some of those, putting some of those elements together. But maybe next time I could rope him into <laughs> to, to collabing with me on the next info session. Because yes, you're absolutely right. Um, but the good news is that is again, some of that work towards like putting those people together and getting sort of like a collab base of, um, you know, people to fill in blanks have been kind of assembled. Um, but that's, that's true. I mean, I, I will say, you know, cause we are recording this, this will be, at least some of this, will, part of this will be on, on the YouTube channel as soon as possible. Like um, there are a lot of good, just sort of visual or, or story uh, ideas that are kind of ready to, ready to go, like as far as having an antinatalist interpretation. I mean, one that I have played with myself, but which I invite anybody else to play with, it's, it's really fun. And I think there's still a lot of um, ground to be covered within it is Frankenstein. You know, Frankenstein is a great place to start um, as far as building an antinatalist narrative or even uh, borrowing from a, uh, a visual language that I think can be applied, can be applied to antinatalism so easily. Um, Island of Dr. Moreau in little bits and pieces, I think, um, can be a, a good, a good, um, a good thing to kind of grab from and, and, and redirect and mold into sort of an, an antinatalist or an ethelist, um, reimagining. Um, you know, why don't we just all, we'll just, we'll throw our ideas at Glenos and have him do the Glenos version of everything and then we won't have to do any work. 
I know. Uh, I I agree for what it's worth. I don't know where he is, that Glidos. He's slacking off. No, I'm joking. Um, I did really love uh, David Benatar's, you know, concept of The Rock. And I was really surprised to see him uh, work with that kind of visual concept just because I've never really... I, I didn't know of him doing that kind of thing in the in the past and that's a that was a very valuable I think um piece and I think Glen, Glenos had almost no time to do that but I think he did a brilliant job uh illustrating that in the, in the time that he had it came out really really well um sorry go ahead well that's sort of sort of yeah so I mean I likewise like you can do some artwork maybe I can do some narrative work or some other kind of like yeah. if somebody wants to, me to do something for their project, I'm willing. So I'm just saying we all have things we can bring to the table for other people to use. I'm just saying that we should at least have some way to communicate that to each other in some sort of coherent way through the website or whatever. There should be at least some mechanism for us to exchange uh, offers of uh, help. Yeah, well, first of all, that's very generous of you, Gary. Thank you for offering to do, like, voiceover and stuff. I think that would be amazing. Um, but, yes, I agree. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I could make that happen. So, like, you know, not to spill the beans on big – well, all of you know or already know, or most of you anyway. Like, down the road, A&I does want to do sort of like a – what I'm just going to – for the for the easiest thing I can liken it to, almost sort of like a – an antenatalist Craigslist. It'll be called Adopt an Activist. So if you're like really wanting to do voiceover for certain things, or you're really good at doing, you know, art and want it to be applied to certain things, you can kind of like, uh, you know, announce your services, you know, to the to to the to, a, to the project. Um, for for right now, just sort of where we are at the minute. Um, you know, really, if anybody out there listening, like saying, hey, I've got a I've got a burning desire to um, do voiceover for antenatalist artistic projects or for this, pro you know, th that may pop up or I want to apply my art uh, to whatever project people have cooking in the background. Um, the, the Discord, I have to say, would be a good place to just sort of announce your services uh, just for the time being. Um, we do have a, the film festival does have a room on the Antenatalist International Discord. Um, so that's a place to start. But I like the idea of maybe putting just sort of a, a holding spot somewhere on the website for that. And I don't know how we could do that easily. Um, but some kind of bulletin. Well, maybe an email list. I don't know. You know I don't know what the you know, best technology is anymore. Just because you do get all the annoying people polluting any conversations you try to have that are semi-private or this yeah. or that and end yeah. up being public and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm just saying it as a suggestion. I mean, we don't have to nail that down. I'm just saying that there should be a mechanism just for the fact that if somebody, you somebody can just know that somebody's made an offer and that yeah. they can take yeah. them up on the offer in private through email or whatever else. Well, like, let, yeah, no, no, absolutely. Well, you know, um, I think maybe one way I could uh, set a goal <laughs> at the very least is uh, I will talk to AO. Um, hopefully in, in, in the very near future. And, you know, we've done this in the past with, with other A&I projects is we just have like a, um, not like an Excel spreadsheet or some, something of that nature. Um, and we can maybe just sort of have people fill it in. Like I can post that in the uh, Fellowship of Antinatalist Artists uh, social media places. So people, you know, it could just be as simple as saying like, do you, do you, do you have any desire to collab as a visual artist? Do you have any desire to collab as a voiceover person or all of these different categories and just see who fills in their names. Um, and that can be sort of a nice rolling, you know, resource. Uh, so just as a, a, a first way of taking care of that, maybe that might be a good, a good way forward. Um, I'll give some more thought to that for sure. Um, yeah. Sounds reasonable. All right. Well, that's, that's good. That's say That's the best we can hope for. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, so I, do, does anybody have any ideas uh, that they might want to, uh, for films they're thinking of making? That's all right. That's all right. Um, well, you know, uh, 
how, where, where can we go from here? I was going to, I was going to do go for an hour, but we can cut it short if we don't have, if, if there's nothing else pressing. Um, I mean, I certainly have some anti-natalist movies I'd love to be able to make, but it's just not a good time for that just yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, what can I, what else can I possibly say? Uh, you know, this is, this, this festival is a work in progress. Um, I do expect though to have, to be a lot farther by the next time we have the info session. Um, I am slowly working on figuring out, you know, all of the, steps for the next year even because that's a that's a big hurdle um but you know still doing my best somebody has commented uh, you know back to the the idea of submitting not your own content but some other video or some other material that's not something you own yeah. but something you think is good enough to be rewarded you know so yeah yeah there probably should be some line about you don't really have to own what you submit Okay, right. and we have to know if you do own it, then you're going to give up rights to it. If you don't own it, we'll have to put it in some other category where we're not going to use it in any way where we're trespassing on the original owner's rights. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, uh, David made that comment. Yeah, thank you for that, David. And thank you, Gary, for reminding me about that and, and uh, pointing that out. Yeah, so I did forget to talk about that. Yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so you are allowed to submit content that does not belong to you. Um, you need to be honest about it. It's on a case by case basis. And yes, if you do that, you're not in the running for, you're not in the running to win. Basically you can't win somebody's prize. Uh, even if it is best in show, uh, you're not going to be able to win the grand prize or anything. If it's somebody else's content, I personally am, if somebody does end up doing that where they submit somebody else's work, I am going to make some effort to contact the original creator, um, and see what, they think about all that. Um, if they say no, that I'm going to, I'm just going to have to reject it. Uh, I try to play fair about these things. Um, but, uh, but yes, I mean, listen, for fuck's sake, there's been 10 years, almost 11 years of uh, antinatalist video stuff on the internet. Almost nobody sees it anymore. You know, a lot of it's not even up. So if you have some amazing archival collection <laughs> of antinatalist videos and there's some really good stuff out there that, you know, you really think deserves some eyeballs, please submit it. You know, even if, uh, you know, even if, even if I, we can't get permission for it to be in the festival or something, maybe there's some other avenue where we can get it, get it seen. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the archival, um, archi older antenatalist stuff really does deserve to be uh, seen more. So, so yeah, again, the worst, the worst thing can happen is we say no. So please submit it, whatever it might be. Um, sorry, I'm just reading the rest of David's comment. My, uh, actually, my question was actually about anonymity. Oh, I'm sorry, David. Um, as in my own content, but under YouTube. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. You do not have to use your real human name. You can use your, your internet name. I don't mind aliases at all. So there's no problem with that at all, David. D is that, does, did that answer your question? Or um, you know, I'm happy to. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like I've said before, th there's a lot of leeway here. You know, you can, there's a lot of different, you know. I, I, I'm just wondering whether maybe there has to be a category difference, you know, just because of, you know, original content. I'm thinking, you know, people could just go on the internet and they could take clips of different people, even yeah. celebrities that are, you know, it's on the internet. Yeah. You put those clips together, uh, the legality of that is completely unknown. You, you know, yeah. we, right, 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 right. And, and, you know, it's never been really tested, but somebody could claim a copyright. Maybe they can't legitimately claim a copyright. What's the law on that? Who knows? Yeah. So those things would have to be in another category where if somebody does have a tag down notice, you know, if, if you have a clip of somebody and they actually do protest, yeah. that you have to honor their protest. So that video couldn't be in the contest anymore because somebody claimed a copyright right. Right, right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I do agree on it being in a different category. I think that's smart. Um, I also don't know. Maybe it should have its own, like, own screening platform. Like, it wouldn't... I mean, 
you know, once I have all the submissions and it's like, hey, it's time for the actual festival to, to go. I mean, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is it's, you know, it's going to run all month long, basically, on the website. So all of the, f the videos will be sort of edited together in one long video that's just going to be streamed from YouTube to the website, as far as I'm aware right now. I think that's how it's going to go down. So maybe content that's a little iffy, you know, it, it, uh, where there is some possibility of, of there being some trouble, uh, maybe that will have to sort of maybe just be on YouTube. I mean, it's all, you know, at least it won't be, it, it will have been created because of the festival, but it won't be shown at the actual festival, but it will still, will still find some way of getting eyeballs on it, even, even though it might not play in the actual festival video itself with all the other films. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, that might be one way, way around it. Um, I mean, I, I really do think that this is all going to fly very low under the radar. I don't, I would be very surprised if that happened. Um, I do, I, I mean, incidentally, I do really like the idea of people, you know, uh, mashing together little bits of celebrities and whatnot, saying slightly antinatal things. I mean, there is, there is that kind of thing out there, uh, and nobody's really done that yet. Um, but I, I do. Well, that's sort of why I want to defend the idea of it. Like, I'm just saying that we have to sort of be prepared to yeah. deal with what might be a complication based on that. But it yeah. is content. I wouldn't just say let's reject it because there it could no. be really good. <laughs> and so yeah. you almost want to encourage it, even if it is a little spammy or a little legally marginal. It's still something worth encouraging because the people it does allow uh, a low entry level for creativity. Okay, I mean, you, you know what I mean? The person doesn't have to create the original content, which is right. huge, yeah. you know, yeah. value yeah. to some people who might have, you know, the time, but they don't have the, the ability. And, you know, this is a time intensive thing, you know, yeah. putting all these clips together. It's yeah. a lot of editing work. So it, it but like I, like you just said, I mean, it's a, it's a, a form that's really appealing when it's yeah. done well. Yeah. It's really, it's really effective. So it's something yeah. that we kind of want to encourage, you know. But yeah, we can't make it a mainstay. But it's certainly something right. we want to encourage. So we got to leave room for it. But how, where we leave the room is the tricky part. So that's all. Right. I'm just saying it's a subject to be um, gnarled with in the future. No, I to I totally agree. I mean, the the one solution I can think of just at the at the second, although I agree, it's going to have to have some real thought given to it. Um, is we don't make it a part of the actual festival program, but you know it sits on some YouTube channel or something that we point to and go, hey, this is really fucking cool. You know, at least go give this some eyeballs, but it can't play at the festival. Um, you know, I don't know though. There's always there's always workarounds though. Like, what if you ha you know there might be there are definitely some good clips of different celebrities you know, saying antinatally things. So maybe you can't use the footage yourself. Maybe you have to use a screenshot and just, in, you know, the quotes in text or something. And that would definitely be less powerful, but it would be a way of getting that content out there in some form or another. And that I don't think would really cross any legal lines. I mean, that's that's fair use, right? I mean, it would just be... Well, I mean, I'm just saying it's all kind of gray. So that's yeah, all, yeah, right, all I'm right, saying right. is it's yeah. gray. It's really gnarly legally. But my point would be is I'd still want to have a prize for it, even if it gets disqualified. Oh, okay. You know, I'd still yeah. want to yeah. encourage it because it is... It's fodder for stuff. You know, it does yeah. create... It does inspire other people even. So yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's a, I think it's valuable enough you know, not to be too careful. I mean, careful enough to be legally correct, but not yeah. careful enough to be strictly polite, maybe. I don't know what the right, you know, terminology is. It's like, you know, it's a, you. a slight you. rudeness, but nothing to be prosecuted for. Right, right. No, I get you. It's a, del it's a delicate tightrope, but yes let's let's definitely maybe think about how we can walk that um another idea that you had last time we did an info session that i loved was this concept of hey everybody's going to submit their videos and they may all be great in their own individual ways 
But if we took a little piece of this one, we took a little piece of that one, little here, little there, mixed ingredients, maybe we could get a really great little video or great, you know, mini movie or movie it's, or feature, you know, who knows, uh, out of it. And I really like that concept. Um, I mean, that was something that I had hoped people would do with the Ethelist uh, and other things that I've done. And, and some people have done a little bit of that um, in the past, but I would like to work towards that as a goal where yes, you know, so long as the individual artists give their consent, um, that everything submitted could kind of be fodder for perhaps the building of something even better. And then that could then be submitted to other festivals. And right. Well, that's a great I think, idea. I think that's a little bit that I would change in your, your whatever it is, terms of service agreement, is that um, all the submissions are mutual property. Okay, it's yeah. like you, the the your your once you submit a video, it is now material owned equally by you and the person who created it, and they can do anything they want with it. But you, the the film festival, can also do anything it wants to do with it. If it wants to make yeah. a commercial out of it for the film festival, it can do that. If it wants to, so you kind of have to make sure that your the person knows they're giving essentially all rights, equal rights. To the festival, to yeah. the material. Yeah, I, I I did a a hack job of making that clear here, but I agree that does need to be made a lot more explicit. Uh, so yes, I agree, I agree, and I will do so. I mean, I did say I would do so at the end of last meeting, but I mean it this time. I will do so because um, that is very important. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm in, I'm imposing no pressure. If it did so oh, I, by by 2025, it's probably going to be soon <laughs> enough. So I don't worry too much about it. No, I I, I don't feel pressured. I I mean, these are all really great. I, I listen. I have never run a film festival before, so I'm very very grateful for all of the suggestions and and uh, you know I, I want I really do I really do want this thing to be successful. Like I've I've wanted to do an Anthony Atlas Film Festival since like 2000. And, 11. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, but I've, so I've had the passion to do it. I haven't necessarily thought everything through. So I, I really do appreciate it. Um, but this, this month has been nuts. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, I do expect some of this is going to be much more ironed out by next time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, I really do appreciate, uh, all of you for, for, coming showing up to this i mean i i really was only planning on going for about an hour we're almost at that point um so i just wanted to open it up in case anybody had uh anything else that they wanted to add um and if not i guess you know we can we can maybe end a little early uh, but uh thank you again so much to everybody for being here today likewise and such thank you gary thank you so much uh, yeah. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm just going to close it out for today. Uh, really, thank you so much to, uh, to Mark, to Gary, to Anugra, to David for coming today and everybody else uh, that showed up uh, minus the trolls. <laughs> and um, like I said before, we will have another one of these uh, March 21st. Um, please submit your films. Please contact me at uh, info at antinatalisminternational.com uh, or uh, antinatalnews at gmail.com if you have any questions. Looking forward to seeing your work. And uh, yeah, all the best and bye for now. Yes, bye. bye. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Take good care. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks again. Bye. See you, Gary. See you, Mark. <laughs>